O happy half of days decreed to me, by early years, so soon you passed away. Few were the flowers that blossomed on that tree, and they, scarce bodied, fell into decay. Few were the rays of hope that I could see, and storms would often rage in a wild array. Still for my youth, dark though thy dawn may be, my heart will ever cry, God be with thee. Too soon the fruit of knowledge did I eat, or dripped that poison, faded all delight. I saw how honest and truth could meet among the human kind with scorn and spite. I sought true love, an empty dream and fleet, which disappeared as dawn broke into light, and wisdom, justice, and the learned mind were dowerless maids, no suitors could they find. I saw how those who are not loved by fate, their ship in vain against the wind may steer, the one who is not born to high estate shall see no fortune at his cradle appear. I saw how fame is purchased at the rate of current cash, no price too high, too dear. I saw in glories and in honor's seat all that beguiles men's minds with lies, deceit. These sights and others, uglier by far, burned in my heart till cruelly it bled. Yet thoughts like these the joys of youth will bar and quickly drive them out of heart and head. Fair cloud-born castles glimmer from afar. Green lawns arise where desert places spread. Hope can lose many a wanton beckoning light to lure the young and tempt them in the night. They know not of the sudden storm that blows, the spelling phantom shapes that cannot last, and all too soon forget misfortune's woes, forget the wounds once they are healed and past, until the changing years show how life flows into a vessel that is leaking fast. Still, O oh my youth, dark though thy dawn may be, my heart will ever cry. God be with thee. The vintage France is over, and here sweet wine makes once again said eyes and hearts recover, puts fire in every vein, drowns dull care everywhere, and summons hope out of despair. To whom, with acclamation and song, shall we our first toast give? God save our land and nation, and all Slovenes where they live, who own the same blood and name, and who one glorious mother claim. Let thunder out of heaven strike down and smite our wanton foe. Now, as it once had thriven, May our dear realm in freedom grow. Let fall the last chains of the past, which bind us still and hold us fast. Let peace, glad conciliation, come back to us throughout the land. Towards their destination, let love's henceforth go hand in hand. Thus again will honor reign to justice pledged in our domain. To you, our pride past measure, our girls, your beauty, charm, and grace, here surely is no treasure to equal maidens of such race. Sons you'll bear, who will dare defy our foe no matter where. Our hope now, our tomorrow, our youth, we toast and toast with joy. No poisonous blight or sorrow your love a homeland shall destroy. With us, indeed, you are called to heed its summons in this hour of need. God's blessing on all nations who long and work for that bright day, when o'er earth's habitations no war 
no strife shall hold its sway. Who learn to see that all man free no more shall those but neighbours be. At last, to our union, to us the toast. Let it resound, since in this gay communion by thoughts of brotherhood we're bound. May joyful cheer ne'er disappear from all good hearts now gathered here. Let my poem, like a shrine, contain your name. In my heart shall ever proudly reign your name. Let my countrymen hear echoes, east and west, of the music in that joyous strain, your name. On this shrine shall nations henceforth read your fame. Here it stays to glow and glow again, your name. When both you and I have crossed in Kieran's boot, even then the glory will remain, your name. More than Cynthia, Laura, Della and Corinna, time will ever hallow my refrain, your name. The warring clouds have vanished from the skies. The war of man has ended with the night. The morning sun gilds the tree heads that rise supreme above the carnivores, snow peaks white. The lake of Bahin, calm and stillness lies. No sign of strife remains to outward sight. Yet in the lake the fierce pike never sleep, nor rather the marauders of the deep. Is not this lake upon whose bank you stand, brave Tripamir, the image of your soul? The clash of arms has ceased throughout the land, yet in your breast the storms of war still rule. If aught of life's tire is, I understand, the eternal worm takes yet more deadly toll, battens on life blood in its inner lair, and reawakes the harpies of despair. What was the need of you, little one, my baby dear, my darling son, to me, a girl, a foolish young thing, a mother without a wedding ring? My father cursed and bat me, my mother in tears would entreat me, my friends would blush and pass me by, strangers pointed at me on the sly, and he who was my own true love, your father by the will above. He wanders God knows how far from here, shamed because of us, poor dear. What was the need of you, little one, my baby dear, my darling son? But whether there was need or no, with all my heart I love you so. There seemed to open azure skies whenever I look into your eyes, and when on me you sweetly smile, all I've suffered is gone for a while. May he, by whom the birds are fed, joy and blessings on you shed. Whether there was need or no, with all my heart, I love you so.